men, and this is messages for all the divorced men. I need you to listen to me. And the reason why it's for divorced men is because we don't do our due diligence. Most women, they really, when they get divorced, they really do their due diligence. Most of us just fall by the wayside. There's a reason why they tell you to keep your divorce decree forever, right? So, going to the story. So, my buddy, his father recently passed away. And while he was in hospice or while he was transitioning, his, his father gave him power of attorney. He said, hey, son, you can just handle everything and handle my affairs. And he was a veteran as well. So, the father was went to the bank and he realized his father, he had all the accounts, account numbers and access and stuff like that. His father gave it to him and the life insurance policy. His father had a lot of life insurance policies, you know, with work and things of that nature. So long story short, um, his father, you know, had a bank accounts that had a pretty substantial amount of money in it. So he went to go to the funeral home. The funeral home said, well, he paid for a plot and everything. We have that and everything, but we need his, his wife's signature for her to sign off this. And he was like, what do you mean? He said, they have a two plot. So we need to, you know, her signature. He was like, my father has been divorced for over 30 years. And I don't really talk to my mother. We don't have a very good relationship. He said, well, we need, in order for us to do this, we need her signature. All right. So he calls his mother. That triggered her, his mother to start scheming. So then a mother, then his mother went to the bank where he, she knew, she knew where my buddy's father was. He was a very methodical man and wiped out all the accounts that he had, wiped them out, took all the money out, all of it. Right. Then went and said, well, let me look at the house that he lived in, it was paid for. And was like, well, I want to sell it. He put on the deed. Most of us, of us men that we call providers and everything else, when we do get married, we want to make sure that the wife has access to it because we don't really think that this is going to end. We think, well, it's going to end with me in the ground, so let me make sure you put, you know, on everything. But when you get a divorce, you forget What up, YouTube? Back with another video for us to check out. You already know what it is, man. Real talk. It's about a man that has a message for all divorced men while sharing a crazy story. We're going to see what the brother got to talk about and get into it, man. You already know what it is and do our thing throughout the whole video. You already know this grind. Men, and this is messages for all the divorced men. I need you to listen to me. And the reason why it's for divorced men is because we don't do our due diligence. Most women, they really, when they get divorced, they really do their due diligence. Most of us just fall by the wayside. There's a reason why they tell you to keep your divorce decree forever, right? So going to the story. So my buddy, his father recently passed away. And while he was in hospice or while he was transitioning, his, his father gave him power of attorney. Say, so, hey, son, you can just handle everything and handle my affairs. And he was a veteran as well. So the father was went to the bank and he realized his father, he had all the accounts, account numbers and access and stuff like that. His father gave it to him. And the life insurance policy, his father had a lot of life insurance policies, you know, with work and things of that nature. So long story short, um, his father, you know, had a bank accounts that had a pretty substantial amount of money in it. My bad, man. My bad. So he went to go to the funeral home. The funeral home said, well, he paid for a plot and everything. We have that and everything, but we need his, his wife's signature for her to sign off this. And he was like, what do you mean? He said, they have a two plot. So we need to, you know, her signature. He's like, my father has been divorced for over 30 years. And I don't really talk to my mother. We don't have a very good relationship. He said, well, we need, in order for us to do this, we need her signature. All right. So he calls his mother that triggered her, his mother to start scheming. So then a mother, then That's his wild. mother went to the bank where That's he, wild. she knew, she knew where my buddy's father was. He was a very methodical man and wiped out all the accounts that he had, wiped them out, took all the money out, 
all of it, right? Then went and said, well, let me look at the house that he lived in. It was paid for. And was like, well, I want to sell it. He put on the deed. Most of us, of us men that we call providers and everything else, when we do get married, we want to make sure that the wife has access to it because we don't really think that this is going to end. We think, well, it's going to end with me in the ground, so let me make sure you put, you know, on everything. But when you get a divorce, you forget. <clears throat> He's absolutely correct on that, man. You know, I, I feel him on that, and I totally agree. Uh, you know, most people, man, that come into a marriage seriously, not the ones that's out there that's play, was playing around, never really was wanting to, you know what I mean? They just did it for whatever reason. But yeah, man, when you really come into marriage, you know what I mean? You you looking to share your life with this one person, you know what I mean? And even for some people that didn't make it, you, you come in serious. You come in focused, man. You're not thinking about, you know, this ending or y'all ending this way, you know what I mean? Um, some people do come in like that and some people don't. But, you know, I feel him, man. You know, that's not something you you just think. So, yeah, you 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 most people typically are going to put their spouse or their significant other's name on everything. Crazy. You got to go back to around and circle back at all those other places and get it taken care of and get it removed. So his mother wiped out all of the accounts, wow. all the accounts. Wow. And thank God that, you know, VA pays for pretty much some things and whatever. And he had some money saved up to bury his father the right way. But all the life insurance policy, he had a couple of life insurance policies for him, the kids and everything, because he wanted to make sure his kids were taken care of in his death. She was like, mm -mm, I'm taking that. Cold, bro. And I got to say, Cold. this this made me look at my stuff and I'm going to put me per make it personal. I realized that my ex-wife was on a lot of stuff. I did not even know none of the stuff that I put her on. I forgot. You have to go to Social Security Administration and you have to let them know that you're divorced. I didn't know I was supposed to do. I thought it just happened, act, you know, just it happened circumstance. I didn't even know. I just thought, oh, once I get a divorce, it goes in some system and everybody gets it. No, it doesn't. You have to let the state you 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 um, you uh, were married in know that you're divorced. Sometimes some they have it and some they don't. I had to call uh, my 401k. She wiped out his entire 401k. She did this in a matter of weeks, right? And he couldn't, because he had a power of attorney, they gave him some information, but he never took his wife off of anything, his ex-wife off of anything. She wiped him clean, wiped him clean, right? And now the, the, the son is trying to fight this. You imagine you have to fight your mother for stuff that is, that's not right. And he... That's crazy as hell, man. You know, he's giving you some game, you know what I mean? And, you know, uh, for those out there that's divorced or currently going through a divorce, you know what I mean? And I don't wish that on nobody, but sometimes it's, it's best that people separate, you know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? Marriage is something that I believe is a spiritual thing anyway, a spiritual connection. That paper really don't matter too much, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's for legal reasons like this. But... He's giving game for those that need him, man, most definitely, man. So, you know, take heed to that. But also, uh, just to touch on her mother, man, you know, she sounds like she's a, a real bitter, you know, just angry, vindictive, malicious woman, man. Like, she's just been waiting for this because to be mad at the, you know, deceased ex-husband is one thing, to resent him, whatever. But, you know, like, what's going on when you want to take other people's generational wealth, this that was rightfully rightfully theirs that's passed on to them. You know what I mean? You got to be a cold-hearted person, bro, to, like, really not care. And I mean, of course, we live in a world full of grimy people, millions of grimy people. So, but still, just to hear about it is like, damn, man, she ain't got no heart. She ain't thinking about no grandchildren, great-grandchildren. She just like, forget it. It's my time. I'm taking it all. But, uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. A lawyer said, unfortunately, yeah, he got a divorce decree, but 
because of certain laws or whatever, I don't understand too much. She, you, you, you may with the government, you may end up saying, Hey, you know, she doesn't deserve this money. She gets survivor benefits and, you know, you may can fight that, but the rest, the life insurance policy and everything else, you may can't do anything about it. You can try, you know, and with the, the, the house, because she was on the deed and the house is paid for, it's technically her house. Yeah. He has to fight his own mother for that. So men, what I'm saying, when you get a divorce decree, mm -hmm. just don't let it sit mm -hmm. somewhere. Hey, do your due diligence and go to these different places and, and get these things done. I didn't, like I said, with me, I didn't know I had to check some stuff and I'm like, holy crap, I didn't know I was supposed to do this. And I'm taking off to get these things done because I don't want my, my son to have that level of hindrance. You have to understand something. You don't know people. Right. And it's not saying that your, your ex-wife or, or your whatever will do anything. I'm not saying that, but you don't know what level someone will be in when they see a certain substantial amount of money. Right. And your kids have to get these things done for you, for you in your timely demise and when you're transitioning. So make it a little bit more smoother for them. And a lot, like I said, men, we do this. I'm a victim of this. I thought the same thing. And this even happened to my sister, you know, my actual sister, you know, where you have to get these things done. And it's such a headache for our kids to get these things done. And we think that these things happen automatically. Even at my job, I didn't know. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I thought I did this. And he said, no, you didn't. I said, well, I thought that if I called the person, sent them an email, we think things are simple and it's not. So do your due diligence, even if some of you are getting prepared to get remarried to someone. You may want to get remarried. It may, something may happen to you. You are hindering them from doing what they need to do for you and your, and your transition. You know, whether you get another wife, whether you get, you know, whatever you decide to do, but you're hindering them from doing that. And you're giving a lot of power back to your past and you shouldn't do that. Absolutely. So, Man, and people do, man. You're supposed to make sure you close that door, man. Close those chapters in your life, you know what I mean, so you can move on. Uh, a lot of people don't do that, you know what I mean? A lot of people just kind of leave those swinging doors open, man, hanky-panky off and on. A lot of people don't do their, you know, work to make sure they fully separated, you know what I mean? And I always felt like this, man. If you can separate from somebody and y'all can still keep all this access to each other on certain levels and y'all should have just stayed together. You know what I mean? That's, that's real weird to me. Um, and I understand sometimes people do need to separate and they still find a way to be cool. You know what I'm saying? Co-parent and all of that, man. Some people just don't, man, but you don't want to be giving, feeding your past. You know what I mean? I, I totally agree with the brother on that. You don't want to be feeding your past when, when that was a part of you that didn't have to be, uh, disconnected, but it disconnected from your life for a reason. You know what I mean? And uh, it is, man. It's easy to get in trouble and hard to get out of it. And I'm not saying marriage is a trouble, but divorce kind of seems like that. You know what I mean? It's it's easy to get married, man, but it's it's harder to get out of it, man, when people don't want to be together no more. You know, let's go and jump back into it. My bad. I'm asking a lot of men, right? Because we do this because I talk to my buddy. He said he didn't even think about it. He looked at some accounts and he realized his ex-wife is off there and he's been divorced for over 10 years from her. And he was like, oh man, I didn't know what I put on that. A lot of us do things and we forget, all right? So I want you to take this information and, and do something with it and do your due diligence and make sure that you, you know, cross your T's and dot your I's because you, you, you know, you don't want this to happen to you, all right? You don't want this to happen to you. And like I said, even me, I had to look and I'm like, oh, I, when I was shocked when I seen this, I'm like, oh, man, it's like 10, 15 different things that my ex-wife is still on that I never thought about, you know. And yes, it, it's illegal. Yes, it is. But look, man, you a person, you don't they don't care. You know, people will cross that bridge when they come to it, you know, type of thing, you know. So please, man. Do your due diligence. Go out there, get their stuff done. And, and trust me, trust me when I tell you, you will probably be surprised, all right? You'll be surprised at how much stuff you forgot. And I know, like like I said, I know, I know, I know. A lot of times it's a headache and we don't think that it's worth it. Trust me, my buddy's going through it. He's going through it. All the things that his father prepared for, 
Damn. He's cool gone. Guy. And his mother is remarried to another man. So you have to understand that money is going to another man. And not you. And that generational wealth that you wanted to keep for your children as you go and transition is going to another family. If you want to look at it that way, right? Whatever way you need to look at it to motivate you to get up and go get this stuff done, please check this stuff out. Even me, I got to take off and get some stuff done. Okay, my people, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the end of that video right there, man. I apologize, man. My camera died out on me, man. So I had to put another battery in it. But yeah, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video here, man. I think the mama uh, is definitely out of law, man. Um, very Sounds like a very selfish woman. Don't know, man. You know what I mean? Um, I will say this, man. It's, it's people like the mama. And I'm not saying I know the whole situation, but I know I, I heard enough to know that what how she moved in that situation wasn't right. But it's people like that, man. It's reason why, uh, you know, a lot of families can't build generational wealth and pass it on and on and on and on. You feel me? Uh, and she just took that opportunity away. And she's spending it with somebody that ain't, you know, that ain't hit their money, man. I mean, whoever that dude is, he ain't a real dude because, you know what I mean? He'll take time to be like, hey, man, this ain't right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, maybe the mama and the son got some issues. You know what I'm saying? They ain't on good terms. You know what I mean? A lot of people's going through that. Trust me, man. But I will say um, that's not the way you got to move on your people. You feel me? Uh, you could do better, man. And maybe the mama would have did some solid stuff. So I would have probably broke her off some money, man. But the mama on some scandalous shit. She's definitely on some self shit. And uh, that's, you know, just what she on, I guess. But uh, yeah, man, <clears throat> excuse me. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this for sure. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. Leave all the love, man. Help me continue to run this thing up, man. And you already know what it is. Until next time, my good people, man. That's great. Cause nigga, I like money and nice shit. My swag is priceless. My bag is righteous. You mad? I got the.